Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, leave a comment, like, share and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. It seems to be helpful, so thank you for the support. If you don't resonate with the messages, they are probably meant for someone else. You will find other readings linked in the first comment so feel free to check them out and now guys let's find out together what messages want to come through for you aries sun moon rising and venus in the love arena let's see okay this one TikTok. time sticking for something that you care about, that can be a matter of um, great importance, a decision that may be involved in a particular situation. Sometimes we would love that uh, time uh, could be a little bit slower than it is and in other situations it's true the opposite so this can be a factor let's see what the tarot has to say about this energy feeling that time is of the essence Let's see. Here we go. Five of Swords and the Devil. I will keep them as a combination. Eight of Swords. The Hanged Man. This is quite a situation for those of you that will find themselves in this reading because let's say that the positive thing is that we have the young man which is the realization about the need to see something in a completely different way a new perspective is required absolutely because there is a sense of being and feeling stuck with the eight of swords in regards to a very tricky situation with this combination five of swords and the devil energy five of swords ego driven card for me a situation where someone wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't really matter that much other people willing to let them to let go the altercation allow me to say leaving this man behind stay alone with the devil everything is um, brought to the excess because the devil is an energy that kind of enjoys seeing people struggling within these energies in these situations so it's possible that some of you guys are dealing with someone around you that is channeling these very uh, dominant energies which, which are uh, no good, absolutely, and these ways of doing things are able to keep you stuck in an Eight of Swords mode, self-doubting, not feeling worthy enough, not feeling good enough, uh, inability to see a way out 
from these uh, situations this can be of course uh, around you meaning connections for some of you work related situations for others of you interactions that uh, you are involved in at um, different levels of your everyday life but they are a source of struggling energy the eight of swords mentality must um, be released and the end man is crucial because is the key to understand what's going on in the five of swords devil energy enlightenment is required truly an uncomfortable position here but in this case i feel that this situation is even more uncomfortable and so those of you that will find themselves in these energies are willing to pay the price allow me to say of the end man um, process timing at play this is a process that cannot be rushed just like the wheel of fortune for example it requires the a proper amount of time so let's go and clarify to gain more knowledge about these energies look at this flyer the magician nine of cups knight of wands king of cups so a couple of things here first um, point that i'm called to share let's take this away the magician someone is manipulative around you because with this combination uh, someone knows that can turn every situation in their favor because they are able to maybe speak or um, do everything that they think they are allowed to do but this is not necessarily uh, something true meaning that if the person that is channeling these energies thinks that they are allowed to do whatever they want to do well someone uh, must put an end to this situation so first point is this one magician devil energy five of swords someone um, is manipulative in some circumstances uh, thinking that they uh, can make even other people do what they want let's keep this in mind other um, consideration the magician the chance to snap away from these uh, energies channeling uh, a proactive um, way of doing things because the magician in the most positive uh, accent of the card is someone that can uh, deal with all the tools that um, are available and so with the nine of cups there is the requirement to start working with the things that um, may be at your end in order to grant a wish which is moving away with the knight of wands from these struggling energies because the knight is a very a passionate um, energy that is ready to go in this case there is nothing to share with the uh, player um, energy hot and cold that uh, can be associated to the knight of wands um, card this is a desire to move away you see ready to go move away from these very limited restrictive and full of doubts 
energy. It, it, the, the feeling is that there is someone that kind of enjoys to undermine the um, self-esteem of other people. Uh, not a positive uh, energy, uh, absolutely. Either way, there is the chance to move away from this uh, situation. Trust your heart is the focus that is required in the end man process. King of Cups, the Lord of Feelings and Emotions. Uh, in this case, considering that the King of Cups is someone that can struggle a little bit with the communication part, this can be good because uh, less words are spoken during the process of getting uh, enlightenment about the new perspective, the better, because uh, they can be used against, you know? So, gain enlightenment, gain the new perspective, follow your heart, because your emotions and intuitions will guide you to the chance to move away from these energies. This can be a wish granted, understandably so. Time is at play. There is the desire to move away quickly. I can see the point. But also at the, at the same time, um, this process cannot be rushed. It requires to be developed in the um, in the proper way, following uh, some steps that uh, is uh, required. So, pay attention to the words if you find yourself in this situation, to the words that you share, think before you talk, even if this can be a situation that's, that, see involved, that sees involved other people around you and these individuals this individual that uh, is, is not particularly positive, I have to say. They can kind of enjoy, also with the Nine of Cups, as I was saying before, this mechanism, toxic, unhealthy, especially for those that are um, suffering from these interactions. Gain new perspective, follow your heart, you will have the chance to move away, work with the uh, tools that you uh, can um, have at your disposal, pay attention, of course, with the interactions and allow time to um, follow its course but we're going to see more about it guys i will leave it at that for now i truly hope that uh, this reading was helpful at least to some of you i'll continue on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below let us know if you resonate with these energies leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time guys i wish you all the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye